Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at a user form with two different solutions here. If you have a combo box here, that's the first solution where it has all the data from column A here. That's the first solution. But I want to introduce you a second solution, solution B here, where you have a list box where you just search through the items. Because when you have a long list here, it can be hard to find a specific thing. So sometimes it's easier to search for it. For example, this number. So that's the video we're going to take a look at today. How to make it. Because you see, if you we need to find this number, F I N L A D, ten thousand and two, is a lot easier to just write. For example, um, F N, and here it is. Then going through, ah, uh, where is it? Even you can do this, but this is much more simple, and uh, it's more uh, easy to find what you're looking for. So that's what we're going to take a look at today. And I'm going to teach you how to do it, how uh, you can build this so you have a search box instead of a combo box. So it's basically a search box instead of a combo box as an alternative way of building a function in your use form. If you're new to my channel and don't know how to make a VBA user form, then I highly suggest check this uh, video out that pops up here. I've made a step by step for beginners how to create their first user form. All right, let's get started. All F11 to go to Visual Basic Studio. And here we have the very simple user form I created just to show you. For the first option, the comp box. This is called a comp box. It has the raw source here, down here, if you go down, list. I have just made it very simple to name the range list so if you take a look at here it has all the value down here and the name of the range is list that's how you easily can set a row source to the comment box there's also other ways to do it but let's stick with this for now then we have the option two the list box with a search solution where we have a text box here named tb serial number and a list box search so this is a list box so when you tap on this it shows you the code and let me go through it so you know what it does first we have to dim our variables like the worksheet last row cell the search text the range and uh, found match and we're going to do that for the sheet data because the sheet name is data you can see then we need to define the last row from column a or the first column and then we have to define the search text and convert it to lowercase from the text box to make sure it doesn't matter if you type in big letters or capital letters or small letters it sure will be able to find it. Then here we are checking if the search text is blank. And if it is blank, the list box search should be cleared and it should also not be visible. So we set the list box search visible equal false and exit so. Else we display the search box as visible. Set it visible to true. And then we clear the list box search and if found set found match to false. Then we set the range from A2 to the last row. And for each cell in the range, we take a look at the lowercase value string from the search. And if that's bigger than zero, meaning that the search text has a value, then we are gonna update the list box search and add items based on whatever you're typing in, in the set text box here. And then we're gonna set found match as true. 
and if not found we're gonna set the list box search uh, to false visible false so the list box is not appearing then we also have to have this code inside the list box search if you double tap on it let me do it here uh, let's just write something here single tap double tap updates the text box and the list box goes away so we need to have a look here it's ensuring that an item is selected before proceeding if the list index equals minus one that just means we haven't selected anything yet that's why we are looking for with an if statement if list box search and the list index is not minus one meaning that we have selected something then we do this procedure by adding the selection with a double click into the text box. And then we're gonna hide the list box again. That's it. And that's the two option. We can run it again just to show you what it does. This is the first option where you can go through with a drop down, a combo box it's called. Or we can search for this and search with small letters it doesn't matter it still works and here it is you can see here we should just expand this that it should be working uh, let's take a uh, duck and here we have it that's it for this video i hope you like this video if you want to learn more vba then feel free to follow me on instagram and tiktok i share more videos there every day and there's more behind the scenes going on there and you can interact with me when i'm making stories or quizzes or i engage with you more on instagram and tiktok so that's a good way to get in touch with me if you have any questions about excel vba organization and then i hope you like this video and i will maybe see you in the next video